I don't know why I'm making you watch the rest of this walk. I guess I'm just a dick. It's not like it's all that far anyway. It's gonna take us, what, 15 seconds? About. A boot. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't think it's possible to fall all the way down here. So there's Siegmeier right there. So what you want to do here... There are various uh, potential outcomes here. Where the hell is its health bar? Am I even hurting it? Oh, there it is. It's inside of the other dude. So what you actually want to do here... Let me just use the regular targeting system for the... Oh, Jesus. I'm very close to the edge. We want to kill all but one. If you don't kill... If you kill all of them... Then he gets like all depressed, like, oh, you saved me again. God damn it, why am I not useful? Uh, if he takes too much, he can, well, he can die, obviously, that's a problem. Or if he takes too much damage, I think the quest line just stops there. I think there's one more somewhere. Ah, fuck it, I'll just leave that one alive. It should, he should be fine. That way, I think one comes up from somewhere else. Hi. You're gonna die. Nailed it. I really should have bought some large... Actually, didn't I buy some large arrows? Nope. I should have bought some large arrows, because I think those do better. Like, from the distance that I was shooting those things at, I think the large arrows would have ended up doing more damage overall. So let me actually, while we're talking to him, while you're listening to him talk... Or listening to him sleep... Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. Must be the war. Well, what's on your mind? No, don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you? You need not be ashamed. We're all in the same boat, you know. I really have run up quite a debt to you. Perhaps the time has come. Huh. Um... Friend, I have an idea. A good one, really. I will rush those dire fiends and you can slip away in the confusion. Please, friend. I owe you much more than this. By the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. Does he go right now? Oh, shit. I thought I had to talk to him one more time. Stop. Stop. Don't hit him. Damn, he was badass right there. I'm seeing my motherfuckers! Come at me, bros! So yeah, so basically, the possible results of that... But you, didn't you get away? Well, you saved me once again. Oh, thank goodness. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I think I'll have a rest. Right in the middle of this poison. Don't you worry. The ground below me is my pillow. I'll recover. Shortly. Wait, is that it? He's supposed to give me something. I thought. It says right here, because I, I checked it in the meantime, just so I could see what the results of the fight were. Can I, if I target him? I can't target him. So basically, what the results of the fight were supposed to be... Let me actually see... Hang on a second. Let me just go back and check this real quick. So basically, what I saw what was uh, supposed to happen... Basically, you can either kill all of them beforehand, and he's just like, Oh, well, shit, I'm useless. And then he gives you... Oh, okay, I don't get anything the first time when I talk to him. So basically, the various things are going to happen. He either ends with more than 50% HP, which is very unlikely if you leave all of those dudes alive before he hops down here. You can kill every single one of them before he, before you talk to him, and then he'll just be like, Well, here's this ring. Guess our relationship is over. And that's it. You don't get anything further from him. Or if he ends the fight with more than 50% HP, shit moves along and further stuff happens, and we will see that shortly. So this is a red Titanite slab. Now, I don't know why, I, again, I don't know why I'm grabbing this. For the purposes of exploration, it's useless to me, though. Because I'm not going to turn anything chaos or fire. 
What else does that dude do? Surely he has to do something else besides just... Chaos and fire, right? Dark? Does he do dark? He does do dark. Because the other option is a cult, right? I was kind of mixing up dark with a cult. But a cult is, um... That one's dug by, uh, done by Andre of Astora or whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't know nothing. I don't know a darn thing. Alright, now the question is how the fuck do I get out? I think I have to go the other direction to get out of here. Like, I don't think this will take me to where I need to go. So this branch right here will get me out of here. So the question is, can I get to that without having to go all the way around? It doesn't look like it. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it with a bucket. Can I get through here? I think that's the staircase right there. Do it, do it, do it! Yes, no poison. I didn't want to have to use a, uh, an Estus flask. Oops, I think I want to go that way. No, I do not want to go that way. I want to go this way. So hopefully I'll be good. I do still have to go through a couple fights, but... One of them is ridiculously easy, and the other one is Kirk, who is also not particularly hard, but he also, you know, from before, he doesn't seem particularly easy to poise break. So it is possible I could take a hit from him, but I would prefer not to. Because I want to I, I wanna just handle the better chaos. Oh, okay, good, I staggered. Shit. Uh-oh. Why did I not just kill her? Why did I not just kill her? I think I'm going to get up and die. Yeah. The fire wasn't the fire wasn't even there anymore and I still just got up and died. That's awesome. Well done. I mean my own fault. Like I said, I should have killed. There was no reason for me not to kill her right there. I was being overly cautious and that got me killed. How much time has it been? Is it worth? I'm gonna have, I want to rest this one anyway, so I res there to begin with. No, nope, it's only been 7 minutes. Darn. If only I had taken my time. Oh, I should unequip this ring, though. Oops, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm a big, fat, dumb, dumb. Why well, kill this person? Nah, I don't really want to. I, there's no reason to have a 20 Estus Flash. Well, 15, I suppose, would be what one would get me. Right, I don't have any souls. Right, so I'm just going to go with the Flame Plate Ring for now. Because that will hopefully Flame Stone Plate. I'm sorry. Hopefully that will allow me to, like tank if I end up eating a hit from the better chaos that'll allow me to tank at least one of them because he can potentially cast firestorm and life gets really really sad where am I going life gets really sad when he does that I actually did have once I mean it wasn't terrible well actually it was terrible because I had to go back it could have been a lot worse though um right when I got to the bug that allows you to, obviously you have to hit to kill the better chaos right when I got to it the better chaos cast firestorm and when you're in that you know narrow ass pathway you're not getting away from that firestorm that firestorm's hitting you regardless of what you want to do so uh yeah I, I managed to kill the better chaos before I got hit thankfully but I didn't I was not able to light the bonfire so I had to go all the way back to light the bonfire get my souls and everything was not a good look, was not particularly happy about it. Would prefer for that not to happen again. So I'm not even going to bother fighting this the Titanite Demon this time. I already did it once, already proved I can do it. And he doesn't aggro until you're, well he does aggro. But you have to be, you have to get in front of him. Like see I can run right by him and now he's like, hey, oh. That was a little more vicious of a hay that I was expecting. Fuck you, man. I had a decent amount of souls, too. That's a bummer. I think I had 70,000, right? We'll live. Like I said, I don't really have much more reason for levels. It would have been nice. I would have preferred... Well, I would have preferred not to have to fucking do this again. 
but uh, I would have preferred to have been able to ascend my pyromancy flame to at least I mean just to ascend it I don't necessarily need to get it to plus five I don't know and like I said I have no idea whether or not power within is affected in any way let me actually I bet I bet there's information regarding that power within it's the wrong way Oh, I didn't know that boosted endurance. Oops. Wait, I was right. Sorry, I'm staring. Oh, the lingering dragon quest ring actually increases the duration of it. I don't want to fall to my death, but once I get down here, I can run straight and read at the same time. So yeah, it looks like uh, looks like it's not affected at all by uh, the power. What just got hit? Did that thing just somehow damage itself? That's some talent. Um, but yeah, it looks like the strength of your pyromancy does not affect power within in any way like I said it can be a it can be uh, boosted by the lingering dragon quest ring oops that is not worth a ring slot all right buddy could you please not do that again thank you now I just gotta duck and weave to make sure I don't end up smacked by light. See, he didn't even attack that time. That's the first time that's ever happened that he's attacked that quickly. That was just poor luck, really. The curse of the camera has gotten me again. Fuckers. What's the message say? Whatever. I already know, okay? Nope. Nope. Please tell me Kirk isn't gone permanently. That fucking sucked. There we go. Okay, good. Ha! <laughs> Nailed it! Ha! <laughs> One shot him. <laughs> Suck my dick, bitch! But yeah, I think I've already gotten all of his equipment anyway. God, I can't believe he gives so many souls. It's so weird, like... Certain summons just give you... Certain NPC fights just give you so many souls and then other ones are like, Here's 3k for this ridiculously difficult fight that could have killed you at any point in time. Thanks. And then I one-shot Kirk and hey, here's 26,000 souls. I wonder if that's actually affected by... Is it possible to co-op this? Like, how cheap would it be? Because I think you can only co-op with one person. I don't think it was until Dark Souls 2... Or even until Bloodborne that you could um, summon more than one person to help you with a boss. But if you co-op this fight, that'd be kind of hilarious. You know, both of you go over to opposite sides, hit at the same time, and then just hope one of you... Well, actually, I guess then you're just relying on the host at that point in time. So yeah, like I said, I am going to gladly, happily, greedily cheat like a motherfucker to win this. I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically, this fight, you have to hit both of these, you know, the orbs are on the other side. So however, after you hit one of them, uh, the floor starts caving in, and you have to basically know where it caves in, or you're just going to end up accidentally walking down. You got to be careful the entire time, because he's swinging at you, this dude's shooting fire at you, or throwing down flame sights at you, blah, blah, blah. So, uh... But, however, once you take them down, they stay down permanently. They don't regenerate or reset each time you die. So, we can cheat. We leave. We come back in here. Takes us a little bit, but it's a, sig it's a significant cry better than having to die and walk all the way back here and redo this entire fight. Or not redo the entire fight, but basically you just, you know, having to walk back here, it's easier to sit through the loading screens. And, um, then it starts you right back outside the fog wall again. 
So then you just load it back up again. You run on back in, and there you go. You just go off to one side. So really, I mean, you still have to deal with the collapsing floor, but you only have to deal with one side collapsing rather than having to run back or all the way around the middle to get to one. Actually, can you run through the middle? Doesn't I don't because the middle obviously doesn't collapse until you bring break down until you kill both of them. So I wonder if it's possible to actually run. No, all those tree limbs are in the way. All right, so now the danger presented here is going to come from this swipe. Nailed it. Now I'm good the rest of the way. Shit, I'm not good the rest of the way. Never mind, yes I am. Should have trusted myself. I knew. Ah, what are you stuck on? There's the other side. And now we quit again. We redo it. And we just run straight for the middle. We're not straight for the middle. We bait out one of his uh, normal attacks, his swiping attacks, so we don't end up getting shoved off mid-jump or anything. I recognize this is boring as hell. I do apologize for it. But everything about this fight just plain sucks. It's terrible. It's stupid. There's nothing appealing or enjoyable about it. It is just an exercise in frustration if you try to do it the normal way. Because, like, there are times where it's just... For instance, if you get bad RNG and it casts Firestorm when you're, like, in a really thin pathway where, like, you're within melee range. But also you're, like, right next to a pit. And you get trapped by Firestorm, so, like, there's a Firestorm directly in front of you. You can't get past it. But you're within that melee range... You're gonna get bopped by that melee, thrown down a pit, and you're dead just like that. And it's just, it, there's nothing you can do about it. It's purely just bad luck. That is not appealing to me. That is not enjoyable. I can ski though. We're doing the slalom. Alright, so yoink. So I do have to be careful, especially with that shit. I got hit. Yeah, that's a, that, that's kind of that's poor RNG kind of, but like there's nothing really particularly like terribly dangerous about that. Oh, I thought I was gonna see. Now I'm just this is me being terrible, really. Collapses, boom! Oh shit! Okay, good. Now we just wait for him to reset his arm. Okay, good. That's that's like the main danger at that point. Once you get there. Uh, if you, like, because obviously you want to jump between the swipes. If you run up too quickly, oh, fuck me. Okay, good. Wow. I got lucky. That could have, that could have gone very badly. I would hope I would survive it, given that I have the flame sto stone plate ring equipped. But yeah, that could have gone very fucking poorly. Alright, so just so I don't forget to end up doing this. Actually, where am I going now? Where do I want to go? There's a few different places that I might go. You know what? I'm gonna give myself a second attunement slot. Just for kicks. Just so I can have one spell with me. The question is, what do I want to have? Probably com probably Great Combustion, to be honest. How many casts do you get? Eight. So the options are Great Combustion or Great Fireball. Those are the two that I would want to do. I'm gonna go with Great Combustion. So now I still have to do... Don't I still have to do all three of them? Yeah, I do. I still have to do Seath, Nito, and... Uh... The Four Kings. Shit. It's a lot to do! So I am... You know what? I'm basically already at... The Crystal Cave, so let's just do that one first. 